No books are being checked out of Hamden's main library either today or tomorrow. The closure is due to concerns about bed bugs. News 8's Keith Koontz is live in News 8 Control tonight with the details. Keith? Sonia and Darren, the bottom line here is that nobody wants to take any chance of a major problem developing, so exterminators are giving the entire building a thorough inspection. There were signs posted on the doors of the library saying it was closed today due to staffing issues. And while that might be the case, Hamden Mayor Scott Jackson tells News 8 about another reason the doors are now shut. In a used book uh, that was delivered to the library, we found evidence of bed bugs. Uh, so uh, we took immediate steps to sort of quarantine that area, start to bring the professionals in to do an evaluation uh, and extermination of any insects found at the library. So the mayor says the library will be closed today and tomorrow at the very least. As for how long that potentially bed bug infested book was at the library, he says that's a much harder question to answer. We don't know how long the situation was, uh, but we know that uh, it's our obligation to, to be proactive at this point. Jackson says the library won't be reopened until he has a high degree of confidence that visitors are safe. And he says all this will ultimately lead to policy changes, like those adopted by the Russell Library in Middletown, which dealt with bed bug problems earlier this year. So we're kind of following the, the lead established by that, uh, that library, which includes uh, returning borrowed books in a Ziploc bag. Um, to make sure that if there's anything there, um, it, it's, it's protected. He also calls the situation at Miller Memorial part of an explosion of bed bug cases at hotels, schools, and libraries nationwide. Bed bugs can hide in the, in the crevices of your sneakers. Um, they're, they're hitchhikers, I, I saw someone call them. And Hamden will let residents know when the library will be back open on both its town and library websites. Again, the earliest that could happen is the early part of next week. Darren, back to you.